Buenos dias amigos. This is the earliest morning we have done in a while, at least since we have been in the Dominican Republic. Yeah, huh? those of you that follow us regularly know we're not really morning people, but no. once in a while you have to do it for something really, really epic. I think today is gonna be it. So for those of you that watched our last video, you already know that we are in Punta Rosilla, which is on the north coast of the Dominican Republic, a little bit closer to Haiti than where we are in Caporete. This morning we're going to do something super amazing. Most people have just come here to do a day trip. We came for a few days because the town itself is super cute. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very quaint and like very Dominican feeling. But we're going out on an excursion today. We're gonna take a boat and we're gonna go to a little island, I think. We're gonna see some, some very cool stuff, at least I hope so. It actually rained yesterday, so hopefully the weather cooperates today. Our boat's here already. We've got the wet bag ready. This reminds me of the Philippines. <laughs> We are now on the boat. The water is calm. It's so much better than yesterday. We were gonna go yesterday and then ended up having to cancel, but I think this is gonna work out well. There we go, let's go. <laughs> It was a little bit of a bumpy ride, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, well, we made our first stop. It's so funny because I feel like we're in the middle of the ocean, but it's like, I think they call it the small pool. It's really shallow here, but you, you can stop and snorkel. I don't think we'll do that today, but it's really pretty just to look at. So our plan is to just stay here for a few minutes and then get to the island because there's a lot of people that go to this island. It's a Saturday. I expect it to be very, very busy. So we're gonna stay here quick, then head over there because that is the main attraction. But my God, you guys, the world the world is a crazy place. I can't get over what I'm looking at right now and this isn't even the main attraction. This is not where we want to <laughs> break down. In the middle of the ocean. Success. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> this is not where you want to get stuck. <laughs> Definitely not where you want to get stuck. Well, this is what we came here for. This is a little sandbar island right out in the middle of the ocean. And it's just as pretty as I wanted it to be, totally getting major Philippines vibes here, guys. Well, we'd like to officially welcome you to Paradise Island or Kaiorina, as they say. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. As we already said, we got up really early today to come out, and I think we well, we've started to beat the big boats. I imagine while we're here, they'll start to come. But some people come from, or a lot of people come from like Puerto Plata area, oh, get up early in the morning, take a bus here, and then get on a catamaran with like 50 yeah. other people. So I'm sure we're going to be <laughs> innovated by them at some point, but right now, it's oh my, two other boats here. And if you're beautiful. wondering, that little boat ride we were on was about 20 minutes, but yeah. let's go check this place out. So it's not the biggest island I've ever been on, huh? <laughs> It's a little bit small, but it's kind of perfect. I love it. I bet I get, bet you it gets crowded when, when the big boats get here. Yeah, I know. We're gonna try to, like, this is why we came out here early. Yeah. But, oh my God, I can't believe what I'm looking at. I can't believe this exists. And look, mountains in the background. Mm -hmm. I don't know how well they're gonna come through, but, yeah. oh man, wow. I've never, ever seen a place like this. Literally, how does this exist? So I already mentioned our last video, but if you haven't watched that, you should go back and watch it because it's basically us driving from Cabarete to Punta Rosilla. It was a couple of days ago and now, and then like exploring the town, the beach. It's so cute. It's so quaint. It's like, feels kind of authentic. It's small. I think everybody's like family and knows each other. And I think a lot of you guys will come to the Dominican Republic or when you think about the country, you think about Puerto Plata, you think about Punta Cana, you think about all-inclusive resorts, but this country has so much more to offer starting with this little town, this little sandbar in the middle of the ocean.
don't think I've ever seen so many fish in one spot. I actually wish I went or brought the snorkel stuff with us. It's, it's on the beach at the moment. I went back and got our snorkels because there's so many fish here. I can't wait to actually see if we can see them through these. But I haven't got snorkeling in ages. Hopefully I remember how to do it. How do I look, you guys? <laughs> I'm ready to go. Anna's already, uh, oh, she's making her way back there. Do I sound a little funny? <laughs> So that snorkeling was absolutely amazing. Not quite sure how good the uh, audio will be with that GoPro, sometimes it's not so great. So hopefully you could hear us, but it was super amazing. Totally worth coming out here just to do that alone. I'm glad we came when we did because A, it's getting really windy and we knew it would get windier throughout the day, but thankfully we got that drone up in time. But also, there's lots of boats coming now. Yeah, you can see a whole bunch of people back there behind you and some there and that's not even the big boats no not even none of the catamarans are even here yet and they usually have like at least 50 people on them so I we timed this very well today all right we're just getting back in uh, our little tiny boat and we're told that there's some mangroves around here so I think we're gonna kind of hit up those before we get all the way back into our little beach village That was pretty fast, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's, wind blowing here. it's very windy here, but check this out! This is super cool. Like mangroves! Right in the middle of the mangroves right now. It kind of like, it feels like we're going down a river. Just when you think the excursion couldn't get any better, you get to do this. Look, so cool. We're in like tight corners. You probably can't hear me right now, but this is awesome. Just when you thought the excursion couldn't get any better, here we are. And these are really narrow. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, like a much tighter than the other one. It's yeah. Really neat. Wow, check this out. This is so cool. I'm standing up right now. I have to duck a few branches Watch here and there. Right there. <laughs> Absolutely love it. The color of the water is like an emerald green, and we're just surrounded by these mangroves. There's so many mangroves. It's insane. We're now back in the town here and we've already forgotten how beautiful <laughs> this place is. The color of the water here is out of this world. It's almost just as gorgeous as the water we just saw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the beach here in town is just gorgeous. Again, if oh. you didn't watch our last video, you should go watch it. Yeah. Kind of our intro back into town. By the way, if you are coming to stay in town rather than just doing a, a day excursion here, yeah. bring lots and lots of bug spray. I don't think we've ever Ooh. been well, Evening once well, maybe once in Brazil, <laughs> we <laughs> had we had worse bug bites, but this is a very close second. So they're just mosquitoes and no seams, but keep mm -hmm. that in mind. We're f loaded with bites, and we put bug spray on. <laughs> but at the same time, back to the island. That was amazing. Mm -hmm. It was about two to three hours in total. Mm -hmm. Definitely go early. Even more people showed up when we turned the camera off here. It is out of this world, you guys. Yeah, that was one of our favorite excursions. I think we say that every time we do an excursion, yeah, but, but it this was pretty was, awesome. This was up there. So right now we're just out kind of for a walk, getting a little bit of exercise. We wanted to walk past town and see what's up here. <laughs> yeah, I kind of, you can see it from where we're staying and it kind of looks, well, it is super quiet up here. Yeah. Nope, not a single person. <laughs> There's, There's no a few there. like villas and things, but yeah, it's really quiet. And you can come bring a blanket and some towels and maybe a cooler and hang out here. So this is our own beach yeah. and we need these guys to come join us. <laughs> okay, take a look behind me. 
Does this not have a little bit of Holbosch vibes in Mexico? For all you guys that followed us, we've been there before. If you don't know what Holbosch is, look it up. But oh my word, bananas. We just keep walking around saying bananas all the time. I mean, you probably think we're really weird, but we're always saying bananas. This place is absolutely bananas. Well, we officially found some kind of a lodge, Punta Rocia Lodge. Yeah, I think I actually mentioned it in the last video that it was really expensive to stay here. I think it must have just been this weekend. Maybe they only had a couple of rooms left because I looked in like January and February and it was regular <laughs> prices, but this is it. Check it out. Look, cool you got some uh, swings over there. We might have to get in those later if we... Uh, yeah, they've got hammocks over there. <laughs> Maybe if they let us stay? Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Well, they officially let us in here. The grounds are quite something. There's this amazing pool that has an infinity edge and it overlooks the sea, the ocean. It is incredible. You can see the colors of the water. You see the hammocks, swings. This place is really unique. And the rooms as well, they look quite something. So we've ordered some lunch. We didn't eat much this morning because we didn't want to eat too early and then we just had a little snack while we were out on the excursion. We didn't bring any beer with us either, which was definitely a mistake. We kind of thought we're leaving early in the morning, like we're not going to want beers. But by the time we got out there, we were kind of regretting that we didn't and everyone else had them as well. So we started off with the Presidente Light. We're waiting for our lunch to be ready. A little bit of a travel tip for you of what we did here today is if you're staying in a place or staying in a cheap place or you don't have the budget for it or maybe you just want to test out a, an expensive place that you're not quite sure if you want to spend the money or you just want to visit a place try uh, ca going calling them visiting them asking what's happening what's happening this is what, what we did uh, and just asking like can i come for the day can i spend is it like there a minimum spend or they might charge you a certain amount to come to spend the day at the, the resort you can use the pool use the beach have lunch that kind of thing here i think it's a minimum spend of 45 dollars 45 us dollars per person Mm -hmm. But we get to use, well, all of the facilities. But I think a lot of people just don't know that you can often do that, especially in low season when hotels aren't busy. They want to have you come in and enjoy the, enjoy the facilities and eat some food and drink some beer. Check out what we ordered here. These are uh, green pea cakes. So it's almost like a croquette or a fritter. So if I go at this, it's a little soft, so let's see if I can do it. So there's also some, I think this is like a coconut um, sauce. Hmm, sounds good. Oh, it is good. Mm. Oh, that's what I need right now. I have to show you the inside of these. You can see all the peas kind of mushed up in there. It's nice and hot and it's crispy on the outside. It's all juicy, it's all golden. This, um, I just want to try this on its own. Mmm, the coconut's subtle and there's also like a little bit of tomato or something in there. The sauce is really good. It's really vibrant looking, it's really orange. Perfect little uh, appetizer because we got more food on the way. Well, the next course has arrived. I ordered a warm chicken salad, which has potential to be boring, but this is nothing like boring. It looks really, not, not at all like what I expected, but it looks really interesting. So it said it comes with a lemon oregano vinaigrette, and it's uh, served with, uh, arep, arep, I think they said arepi, arepitas, like arepas. So like, I guess small arepas which are kind of little fried. I guess they're kind of like croquette type things, but, but no greens or anything. So it's way more interesting than I would have expected. It smells amazing. Just diving right in? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Wow. When I ordered that, I thought it would be good, but nothing overly special, but I wanted a salad. When it came out, I was like, whoa, this is interesting, but it looks amazing. It tastes incredible. Super lemony, you can taste that oregano, and it's, I think it's fresh oregano, a lot like dried oregano. You get the crunch from the arepas on the bottom. It's not dry at all, though. Like, you kind of expect maybe it was a little dry, but not at all. Oh, this is so good. This is one of the best things I've eaten in quite a while. All right, well, this monster you're looking at is a fish sandwich. So it's a crispy, Filet. It's absolutely massive. The fish on the other end is just falling out of this. Look at this thing. I think on here is some spicy mayo, some onions, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat this in one bite. Mm. Okay, that fish is super fresh. You can see the lettuce. I don't know if you see the onions, but the spicy mayo gives it a bit of a zing. It's a bit of a zip, a bit of a kick. Then you got the bread, and it's really thick bread, but it actually 
kind of uh, crunches down nicely, so you can actually fit it in your mouth. I didn't think I'd be able to do that. But it's really soft, right? It's really good burger. This is like my perfect kind of lunch. Sometimes I don't know what I want for lunch. Didn't want a hamburger, didn't want a cheeseburger. I didn't want to try anything too greasy. I didn't feel like a salad today because Anna got one. I just wanted something like this, and this is where it's at, you guys. This is delicious. How that ocean water might be pretty warm, this, this water? It's, uh, let's say, very, very, very refreshing. It's quite chilly. It's good after you've been lying in the sun for a long time, but it's, it's so nice to do this. One of the best things about being here is that you have the option of this pool, which is literally on the beach, and then going to the beach and going and swimming in the ocean as well. It's like so many, so many tough decisions during the day. Well, as you can see, we made the uh, very difficult decision to come to the playa, to the beach. So we got this little hut back there. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Look. And uh, yeah, this is the beach we walked up earlier. So you can see uh, the pier is right back there. The swings are over there. So yeah, and the water's really calm here and it's cloudy right now and it still looks this color. This is ridiculous. All right, well, oh, there she is. Did we make the uh, right decision? I think we did. I mean, the pool was lovely. <laughs> There's really no wrong decision, no. but this is nice. This is a really nice palapa. Uh, it's one of the, one of the ones biggest. I've seen. It's so, huge. So if it does rain, I think we're, I safe. Think we're safe in here. But look yeah. at this, guys. Look how big. And then just right out here. Ooh. All the exposure. Yeah. There you have it. That's it. Well, we hope today we showed you a whole other side of the Dominican Republic. Maybe the, a side of the Dominican Republic you haven't really thought about or you even known exist. I know we posted some Instagram stories today. Also follow us on Instagram, by the way, yeah. if you're not already. And a few people responded were like, this is not what I picture with the Dominican yeah. Republic. And I know a lot of people just think of like all inclusives and big resorts oh, and Putacana and that kind of thing. <laughs> but there's yeah. a whole other side. There is. There is so much. We hear there's, well, we know there's mountains here, but we're starting to hear from locals and just other people that have been there that there's amazing towns in the mountains. There's, yeah. I think like evergreen trees here. Yeah. I know, so we'll definitely be doing that in the near future. So, so many things. I have this huge list of things that we have uh, to do while we're here. But honestly, this is kind of what we've been missing, you know, for the last year in and a half. <laughs> we've been missing the beach in our lives, the playa. <laughs> but you guys know what I mean. We love getting off the beaten path and just kind of getting out there and exploring and just finding little quaint villages like this. Because mm -hmm. this is, this. we just keep saying it, but it's, it's pure perfection. It's been a lot of fun, huh? It's been amazing. I'm so, so, so happy we came here. <laughs> Don't regret it for a second. It's been wonderful and you should definitely add it to your list. Yeah, this is definitely a happy place for us. Now, if you are new around here, Trevor, Anna, Delightful Travelers, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the little bell. 100K? Yeah, going for 100K. <laughs> the bell, though, will notify you when we put out videos. Also, leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought of this video. And if you got this far, because it's probably a long one, it means if you like it, make sure to hit the like button. That really helps us out if you support our content. That's the free way to support us. If you want to go the extra step, we do have a Patreon account and there's a join button down here or here. I can't remember which side. <laughs> and you can click that and you can basically, it's like tipping for a coffee. You could buy us a coffee every month if you're into this. If not, don't worry about it. We're still going to be putting out content every single week. All right, what are we doing next? I think we're just... Heading back to Cabarete oh, yeah, and we'll right. figure it out from there. Back to Cabarete for, uh, well, I think it's going to be Christmas season. It is. <laughs> so, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Christmas in the tropics, but back to Cabarete. First Christmas in the tropics. So yeah, exciting. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, guys, that's it. <laughs> from Punta Rosia, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.